Hello, my name is Justin Seven. I'm with sportsbookreview.com and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about parlays. How much juice are you paying and how do they compare to straight bets? Before we can talk about parlays, you need to understand the juice that you pay on a regular straight bet. Normally, a player bets $110 to win $100. The $10 extra is the juice. So how much does that work out to be uh, percentage-wise? One way to figure out the house's hold against you or the juice is to look and see how much money would you pay out if you bet every single possibility to make sure you had a win. So in a regular game, let's say you're looking at the Patriots plus two. If you bet the Patriots plus two, $110 to win 100, and the other side minus two, $110 to win 100, you'll win one bet, you'll lose a bet. You'll spend $220 on tickets, one of those bets will lose, the other one will win $100 plus $110 you paid for a $210 payout. The house edge in this case is simply 1 minus the ratio of in over out, which is 210 over 220, is 4.5%. So how do parlays compare to that? Let's look at the house edge on a two-team parlay. Now let's assume the Patriots and the Jets are playing a game where it's pick em, and the total is 40. So on this game, you have two different ways to play each, each selection. You can play Patriots pick them or Jets pick them, and you can also play over 40 or under 40. Now if you're going to parlay those two plays, you have four different ways you can play it. The Jets to the over, the Jets to the under, Patriots to the over, or Patriots to the under. So with four different plays, you're going to have to bet four different plays to make sure you win exactly one of those. So if you're betting $100 away, you're going to put $400 in. Exactly one of those tickets is going to pay you. You're going to win 260 plus the 100 you paid for it for a payout of 360. So for every $400 in you bet on two teamers, you'll get 360 out if you're spreading them all around to cover every possibility. The house edge is simply one minus money in over money out, which in this case 360 over 400 is a 10% edge. Now we're going to look at the house edge on a 10 team parlay. In a 10-team parlay that pays 300 to 1, and I got these odds off of thegreek.com, there are 2 to the 10th different possible outcomes. How do you get 2 to the 10th? In the first game, there are 2 outcomes. The second game, you double that, so there's now 4 possibilities. The third selection, you double it again, so now there's 8. You keep doubling it until you've doubled 10 times, so there's 1,024 different possible ways for these 10 selections to resolve. The house edge is once again 1 minus the payout over the pay in. So if you're going to guarantee that you win one of these bets, betting a dollar on every pick, you're spending you're spending $1,024 and they're paying out $300 and the house edge is a whopping 71%. For most players, parlays are a terrible deal. You're throwing away money much faster than if you're just betting on straight sides. But there's a couple things you can do to lose your money slower if you are going to play parlays. The first thing is look for what are called true parlay odds. If you go to bookmaker.com for example, they give you the true odds as though you were to bet the first pick, take your winnings, bet on the second pick, and take your winnings and keep parlaying it that way. And in the 10-teamer example we just looked at, they have a payout of over 600 to 1. So their odds, their juice that they're charging you are actually less than half of what it would be if you use what are called retail odds. The uh, second thing you can do to lower the house's edge is to take smaller parlays if you have to play them. You saw a two-teamer has about a 10% juice, whereas the 10-teamer is uh, huge. Um, so if you must play parlays, stick to lower teams and try to get true odds. Now there are some ways professionals can use parlays. Uh, but for the most part, anyone who plays recreationally would be better off staying away from them. That's all for today. If you have any gambling-related questions, feel free to write me at justin at sportsbookreview.com.